Awesome. Welcome back. In this session, we'll be covering the definitions that you need to understand the rest of this curriculum. We'll be covering unmanned aircraft, small unmanned aircraft, small unmanned aircraft system, remote pilot in command, visual observer, and the person manipulating the controls. All right, let's get started with definitions. The first one is unmanned aircraft, and this is any unmanned aircraft operated without the possibility of direct human intervention of any size. All right, you already know what an unmanned aircraft is. Now we're going to talk about a small unmanned aircraft, which is based on the amount of weight. A small unmanned aircraft is an unmanned aircraft weighing less than 55 pounds. I like to draw comparisons now and then to be helpful, and here are some interesting notes. Most commercially available drones weigh less than 5 pounds. The average 7 to 8 year old child weighs less than 55 pounds, and a typical car battery weighs between 30 to 50 pounds. All right, you understand unmanned aircraft. You also understand small unmanned aircraft, which is under 55 pounds. Now we have small unmanned aircraft system. It is a small unmanned aircraft and its associated elements. They include common communication links and the control station. Here is a control station, which is an interface used by the remote pilot in command or the person manipulating the controls. Here is an older definition, but it is worth repeating. Model aircraft definition was identified as being flown for hobby or recreational use. With Section 349, it helped clear up the confusion with model aircraft definition. Next up is the remote pilot in command. They hold a remote pilot certificate with an SUAS rating and has the final authority and responsibility. A person manipulating the controls is a person other than the remote pilot in command controlling the flight of the small UA. The person manipulating the controls is under the supervision of the remote pilot in command and they are not required to hold an SUAS certificate. The visual observer is a person acting as a flight crew member who assists the remote pilot in command and the person manipulating the controls to see and avoid. They are not required to hold an SUAS certificate. All right, corrective lenses. These are spectacles or eyeglasses or contact lenses, but they do not include binoculars or similar devices.